All right, we finally got them in hand. The Air Jordan 9. What do we call these? Some people call them the breads. Whatever you want to call them, call them. At the end of the day, you're the one buying them. So if that's what you want to call the shoe, that's what you should call them. We got them in hand. Going to hit you with that review. Make sure to subscribe, of course, if you're new. And there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. You may be subscribed and you're not getting notified every time I upload a new video. You need to hit the little bell. That's how YouTube is doing it. As stupid as it sounds, you got to hit the little bell and let them know it's okay to notify you. Now, looking at these shoes, they are tough. Definitely a tough pair of nines. Me personally, I never was a fan of this shoe when I was a little boy, man. I was like, ah, Jordan retired. He's playing baseball. I don't really care for these. I was like, nah. But then I bought a pair later on, probably about eight years ago, and I put them on my feet. And I got to say, man, these shoes are so great. They're so comfortable. You got that booty system inside, which you see a lot of nowadays. They're great shoes. I highly recommend them. And with that said, let's get up close. You've got your pan leather, your full grain leather right there on the upper part by the toe. And it's decent. It's not like soft, soft, nice, but it's not terrible. Uh, but it's not amazing, we'll say. <laughs> the pan leather makes the shoe pop like crazy. And I love it. I absolutely love it. You got your cleat hit on the midsole. A lot of baseball vibes like you see on the upper. That stitching, that baseball kind of stitching going on. Really dig that also. And then you have your little jump man right there. There's a look at the outsole of the shoe. On the forefoot, they have a lot of different sayings from different cultures. Just showing love to the world this was the shoe that really went worldwide for jordan brand the jordan 9 was just like a global success they pumped this shoe all over the world so that's why they did such a thing and let's take a look at the back with your pull strap right there and then you see a red globe as i was saying this is like a real global shoe that they were pushing you got your 23 stitched in nicey nice and black there's a look at the medial side as far as the fit I highly recommend going true to size unless you have a really wide foot like unless it's to the point where you have the wide 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 brick of a foot then stay true to size if you have a narrow foot you probably could go down half a size but if you're ordering online this is your first pair of Jordan 9s be safe go true to size that's what I recommend as far as sizing and keep in mind everyone's foot is different so don't kill me in the comments if you buy the shoe and it's too big or too small I always say go true to size just be safe. A lot of Jordans, I feel like if you don't know how they fit, go true to size. Unless, as I said, you have that wide dinosaur type of foot that go up half a size. No offense. Don't be insulted. I'm just cracking jokes, having fun right here. Looking at the toe, you can check out that leather one more time for your mind. Then you got your rope laces over that mesh tongue. And then up top, you have your Air Jordan in red going cross. Then you got your booty system with your Air Jordan in red. And there you go with a close-up HD look. Please hit that thumbs up button. I love seeing a lot of thumbs ups. Make my day. I had a tough day today. It would just make my day if I seen a whole lot of thumbs ups. And let me know what you think of these shoes. Are they hot? Or are they not? I would love to know. Me personally, I think they're really nice. My whole thing is I own a lot of black sneakers. So it's like... Do I really need these? Plus, they're coming out with a Jordan 11 that's all black basically later this year, I'm pretty sure. So, unless you're like a die-hard fan of the 9, most people I think are going to are gonna fall back and jump on that upcoming Air Jordan 11 that's coming out. I mean, I may be wrong. Some heads may want to buy both. There's a lot of sneaker collectors out there that want all the Jordans. Give me all the Jordans. I want them all. Give them all. Every single release. Bang, 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 bang. You buying them all. Hey, if you're a collector, I totally understand. You need all them Jordans in your sneaker closet. You going in. And that's what you do. And that's what it's all about. If you are a sneaker collector, especially a Jordan retro collector. Do I think these are going to sell out quick? Absolutely not. I think these are going to sit. But don't quote me on it. Because these Jordans have been selling like hotcakes lately. They've been flying off the shelves. The new ones, the ones that's been releasing in 2018, 
The ones that released last year, they're still marinating, collecting that dust. I'm sure they got some of dust in them bad boys off. You know, they got the dust of lady. Or maybe it's a dust of guy. I'm not trying to be sexist out there. Someone's dusting off them shoes because there's a lot of retro sitting on the shelves. Jordan Brand, don't be mad at me if I'm saying this because I know there's people from Jordan Brand that watch my videos. I'm just telling it how it is. I'm being honest. I'm actually complimenting you, though, for 2018. The craftsmanship is great. There's no flaws on the shoe at all the glue is great so do i recommend it yes i think these are really nice shoes i love the jordan 9 and there's no glue marks the pan leather wrapping around it pops like crazy on them the little red hits fantastic would i change anything on the shoe the only thing i may have done would be maybe and i don't even think i would but maybe make that 23 stitching on the back red besides that they nailed it great job i'll clap like clapping i don't, I don't want to mess anything up making the sound sound all crazy and whatnot but um i dig them let me know what you think please if you hate them dog them in the comment box you know, if you think they're terrible, to explain why. Use emojis. If you think they're fire, you know what to do. Hit them with that fire. Bang, bang, bang. Hit them with a lot of them fire emojis, baby. Let me know how you're feeling about the shoe. And thank you for watching this review. Guys, I have a Patreon account where I'm posting a podcast every single week. I am posting a podcast Join my Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash DJ Dells. I need your support on it. I love doing the podcast. And it would be great for you to all join. And plus, every single month, I will do one giveaway. Now, the podcast is not just going to be sneaker related unless you guys want it to be sneaker related. That is all up to you. You guys control the podcast, which is the cool thing about it. You're basically the producers of the podcast you have to join if you're not joined then you don't listen to the show if you are joined you tell me what you want me to speak about during the podcast i do it that podcast goes up next week a new feed drops what do you want me to speak about you guys let me know it could be about anything it could be about sneakers collectibles uh wrestling wwe you know i love my wwe it could be about uh, Funko Pops. I'm a maniac when it comes to these Funko Pops. If you don't follow my other channel, The Dell Show, I collect Funko Pops like crazy. I have, I think I have over 100 Funko Pops. It's getting a little out of hand. It's like a serious addiction of mine besides these sneakers. I just love them. So if you're into Funko Pops, you may never have even heard of that YouTube channel. Head over there. You're going to be amazed by all the content I've been posting for a long time. So check that out. But really, what I need your support with right now is my Patreon. I really would love to see more people become members over at my Patreon. You will get four hours, probably over four hours of podcast material at least one hour a week and then you will have a giveaway once a month so i mean i think it's really worth it so definitely check it out please i, I would love for some of you guys that are watching this video to just make my day and go check it out that will be linked in the description box below if you don't like it you could always cancel it you know you're not obligated to stay but i'm gonna really try hard to entertain you guys every week and no worries, I will still be recording here on YouTube. I'm just trying to do something outside of YouTube because YouTube keeps changing and changing. And it's just like, you know, I don't know where the future is for YouTube. I mean, part of me thinks YouTube is going to turn into Netflix the way that they're going. And, and that's kind of scary, you know, because when I joined YouTube, it was a lot of fun. It was all about just throwing content out there, you know, not being censored with your opinions. And you see people's YouTube channels, they're actually getting shut down now. There's been a few guys in the sneaker community that's even had their channels shut down. And that's censorship. And censorship sucks. You know, we live in America. Shout out to all my heads outside of America. I love you all. But in America, we should not be censored. We should be able to say what the hell we want to say. Yes, there's consequences if you say some crazy nut shit. But I mean, pause. As far as on YouTube, YouTube was so great because people could just say whatever the hell they want to say. They could review whatever they want to review. 
And now it's to the point now where they are trying to just mold, fold, and control content creators, and that sucks. I will always be reviewing these shoes. I love sneakers, so I don't want anyone to get it messed up, but I just hate that I gotta be like censored. Like, I can't say exactly what I wanna say because they may remove the video, you know? I try to be myself in the videos, but on the podcast, I can just say whatever I want to say. I mean, absolutely anything. And some of the stuff may not be appropriate for YouTube. So please head over to my Patreon. Thank you to everyone that's already joined. A lot of YouTubers have joined. So I really appreciate that. And I plan on shouting you guys out. Any YouTubers that are joining my Patreon, let me know about your videos, your newest video, so I can mention it on the podcast also. I, you know, I'm definitely trying to spread the love. So this is going to be for like immediate family, like immediate supporters of the show. The people that love what I do, man, that always hit me up, that want more. I'm going to give you four plus hours of content and one giveaway a month. So, hey, check it out. And thank you everyone that's been picking up the sneaker addict tees. They're selling like hotcakes lately. I guess maybe... People are beginning to see people wearing them because they're really nice quality t-shirts. I've really definitely tried to make the tees as affordable as possible. I'm really not making much money off of them. It's just t-shirts to rock to represent what we love. These sneakers, the sneaker addicts out there. And I do this for you guys. I do this for the sneaker community. Check out the Patreon. Let me know what you think of these shoes. I will have more information, of course, in the description box below if you're looking for a pair. And everyone be great out there. Be safe out there. And think before you act. That is my advice for the weekend. All right? Much love. We out.